Good afternoon, Bob Dalton coming to you from Allendale's trading floor here in McHenry, Illinois. It is Monday, July 25th, 2011. Uh, we saw weaker grain markets here today due largely in part to the uh, substantial rains we saw across the Corn Belt over the weekend. Even the most aggressive uh, rain forecasts for this weekend were taken out uh, as of Friday afternoon. Uh, were taken out by the amount of rain that we saw here across the Midwest. And you have Ohio and uh, Pennsylvania getting some pretty good rains here today as well well. Uh, so uh, significant rain, rain makes grain, too much grain will cause prices to go on down. So we did see corn pull back a little bit here today, down 11 and a quarter in December at 674 and a half. Soybeans down 16 and a quarter, 1372 even is where they finished up. And uh, September wheat down three and three quarters at 688 and a half. Now that's not the worst of it, right? We did rally into the close. These markets bounced off of their lows uh, significantly. Uh, soybeans, as a matter of fact, were over 20 off of their lows as well as wheat. So uh, we did have some significant buying come into the end of the day, not enough to bring them back up into positive territory. Uh, but it will be interesting to see if there's a turnaround Tuesday type of mentality traded tomorrow and into tonight. As we're expecting anywhere from corn uh crop progress uh, numbers to be reduced anywhere from 2 to 4 percent, good to excellent. We'll have those numbers in about a half an hour. Uh, so uh, we should see, could see some interesting trade here tonight, depending on what the dollar is doing and what the, our uh, government is deciding on with the debt ceiling. Those talks are, are falling apart on a daily basis, and then they rebuild it, and somebody knocks it down the blocks again. So... A lot going on right now, a lot of poker's in the fire. Uh, we're also looking at uh, what's going on over in Europe uh, as far as uh, influence on the U.S. dollar is concerned as well. Uh, so stay tuned to the news. Stay tuned to Allendale.com. We'll do our best to, to keep you informed as to what to expect next in the agricultural commodities. Right now the dollar is down 12 at 74.29 and a half. You have crude oil down 78 on the day, 99.09. Over into the cattle market or livestock as a whole, uh, we did have a bearish, surprisingly bearish cattle on feed report come out Friday afternoon. Uh, apparently there's uh, more cattle in the in the yards than we were anticipating, significantly more. We were looking for a uh, 4% um, uh, decrease in cattle uh, on feed. Instead, we got a 7% increase. So significant number should have been enough, in my opinion, uh, to break those deferred cattle contracts December, February on down two plus dollars today. However, uh, the cattle market bounced off of the uh, the initial open being lower and seeing some significant pressure come on in. As we went into the uh, second half of the day and into the close, they were significantly off their lows. So uh, that leads me to believe that uh, either the technical buyers were out there and uh, grabbing some cattle at support lines, or uh, we just don't believe the numbers that were given out on Friday to be accurate. So stay tuned. Uh, we are still friendly deferred cattle contracts. Our research shows that uh, we're going to have a shortage of supply uh, in both the December and February contracts, as well as uh, most of next year. Uh, so uh, stay tuned or call in with questions regarding cattle supplies and, and our price outlook down the road. Uh, today we did have August cattle finish up $0.10 cents at 11065 uh, Feeders in August down $0.35 cents at one thirty six oh five. The hog market up $0.10 cents at $1.92 and a half. Uh, again, you have any questions, comments, concerns, should you be hedging right now, should you be selling cash grain, uh, give us a phone call here at Allendale. The phone number is 800-262-7538. You can visit us on our website, www.allendale-inc.com, uh, or you can uh, uh, contact our research department uh, at that 800 number as well. Ask for somebody uh, uh, to, to give you some advice on what's going on. If you don't have a broker or don't care to speak with brokers, we have a research department independent of the brokerage arm here at Allendale. That's about it for this week. Uh, my name is Bob Dalton again. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll talk to you again very soon. Good luck.